slowly starving to death. The two and a half year old weighs just over five kilograms, 11 pounds, about a third of what a normal toddler her age should. <laughs> Her mother is sick and we are poor people, explains Camilla's grandmother. She tried to breastfeed but had no milk to give. Camilla, now one of at least a million Afghan children under the age of five, at risk of dying from salvation. For months, the UN has been sounding the alarm, warning that Afghanistan was on the brink of a humanitarian catastrophe. The Taliban takeover on the 15th of August saw international funds immediately dry up, triggering an economic collapse in an already impoverished country, where foreign aid represented 43% of the country's GDP and 75% of government spending, according to the World Bank. But as the US withholds billions of dollars in Afghan reserves and sanctions are imposed on the Taliban government, the West's attempts to force fundamental change within the group are hurting the Afghan people. And with the country in the grips of winter facing one of the worst droughts in decades, the most vulnerable are paying the price. In this hospital in Gore province in northwestern Afghanistan, up to a hundred mothers and children turn up each day with varying cases of malnutrition. <laughs> Dr. Fazila Haqfajad has been working here for the past six years and has never seen this level of desperation. Almost 70% of the cases are severe and this is in the Sisi. Imagine how bad the districts are. If nobody pays attention, it's going to get much worse. We are in a disaster. One of his patients receiving treatment is Razia. This is her third visit to hospital in eight months. Her skeletal frame, a clear sign this child, who's just a few months away from turning three, is not getting better. 